Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Moonstone Mamas here. My name is Devin. If this is the first time you're here with us today, hi, hello, how are you? Hope you're doing well. We are a mother-daughter duo that likes to hunt for jewelry. We like to open jewelry jars and jewelry lots. We purchased this one from eBay. We also like to test our jewelry, clean our jewelry, and with the help of you guys, maybe sell some jewelry to you. Um, so today we have a lot that my mom purchased from eBay. We opened another one like this similarly, but this is a whole different lot from the same dude. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it because it is hefty, hefty, hefty. Give you an idea of what we're working with here. So, two pounds, 13 ounces, 12 ounces-ish. So there we go. So, let's get started. If this is your first time here, it would be pretty cool if you subscribe to us. We do a lot of things like this and like to go into detail on, um, you know, how, to, how we clean stuff, you know, just, just stuff like that. And like with every boxing, unboxing, we have our magnet, we have our loop, and we have some scissors here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Quick look at everything before I start pulling it out. Lots of gold tones, huh? So, what's an unboxing without a bib piece, right? Let's see if this has any. Just looks like a nice bibbed piece. Since it's October, my mind automatically goes to Halloween costumes, so like a Cleopatra Halloween costume-ish. Let me know what you think about that. We have earrings on the card. Can't be mad about that. Looks like it's from Kmart. Cool. Lightweight, it's nice. Here. This looks like uh, a choker. Something that I would have wore in the 90s or early 2000s. We have a stretchy, semi stretchy. Looks like a ice skate. No, oh, it's a magnet. But the magnet is so tight that I'm pulling it. So I mean, you know, this is probably just handmade. And then we have, is this a high heel? Yes, it is. It's a silver tone. Looks like a bracelet. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah. Just a costume piece. We have this guy right here. You guys want to jingle? I'm so ready for Christmas. Let me know if you guys are ready for Christmas in the comments down below. It just sounds like Christmas to me. It's a nice costume piece. It's a little bit of wear on it, I think, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice piece. And speaking of Christmas, Father Christmas himself, Santa. These feel plastic, I think. No markings that I can see, but just a classic. But I think I might wear these. These are so cool. <laughs> okay, we have some, looks like maybe freshwater pearls. Um, okay, I'll definitely check these out. Cool. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. They sure look like it. Put that right there. Looks like we have a lightweight gold tone beaded piece. Cool. Oh, look at this guy. Looks like it was glued at one point. <laughs> Maybe not in the best condition, but I 
could just go in the craft lot. Put that guy right there. All right, some more earrings on the board. These are nice. All right. Let's see if there's anything on there. No. Just a silver tone. Fold over clasp, enameled, twisty. Nice costume piece. Oh, I see something that we have seen before. It's jumping out. This guy. If you saw our unboxing from the Hope Chest, you saw that we have tons of earrings like this. But it's kind of reminiscent of uh, Mardi Gras, in my opinion, but just a gold tone earring. Post back. We have these, which are interesting. Hmm. You guys, my allergies are killing me. I've got such sinus. They're harvesting uh, cotton over here in the big CA. And uh, really messing my nose up so if you hear the sniffle-liffles that's the reason I've got those allergies so this is a nice costume piece kind of would go with uh, the lot that we just put up on our pop-up sale which we still have that up and available for you guys to check out if you're interested we did get a couple people who bought purchased some of our lots from us and we just want to say thank you thank you thank you a million times it was our first pop-up sale and I think it went pretty well in my opinion I had a fun time doing it. Yeah, bangles, bangles, bangles. So this one looks like an enamel overlay bangle. This one looks like just like a pressed pattern bangle, braided bangle, ooh, metal bangle. I almost like how they're kind of rough like this. It gives it a little bit of character. And this one's heavy. This one might be brass. But super cool. I love that kind of boho, hippie chic. Let's see what else we got. Whoopsie. They all kind of stick together and then they don't. We have this gold tone. It's like a red, maybe rhinestone. Doesn't seem to be any markings on the spring ring. Nice gold tone. The red rhinestone pendant. It's pretty. It's kind of sticking. Yeah. Okay. This is, it just says outlet. Six ninety nine. It's nice. Purple beads to match the beads on the necklace. This is nice. When I see stuff like this, I think about like um, people who work in an office that may wanna jazz up their everyday wear. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, these are, whoa, this is different. It's heavy. Golly, I don't know what this is. If this is a, dragon or a snake I don't know but it's got some weight to it uh, definitely gonna have my mom check this one out we'll put this in the pile of stuff to check for later that's interesting so we have this um, silver tone bracelet metal alloy it's nice Let's see the like couch just rolls on and I've got pretty big wrists, so this is nice to, for me anyway. Got this plastic stretch. That's nice. And then we have this guy, gold tone. Let's see if it has 
doesn't look to be any markings. This is nice. Gold tone necklace, long. Just metal alloy. Ooh, da da da. Looks like another choker. You can make it larger. Has a pretty big extender. It's nice. There's no uh, markings that I can tell. Costume piece. Let's put a few out of here. We're gonna call this one the uh, the choker lot because sorry about that camera guys. The choker lot. Look at that. Who knows? Cool costume piece. All right, so we have one of these spiral. Oh, for a second it looked like spider webs, but I think it's because I have Halloween on the mind. And this would remind me of like uh, Black Widow. But this is nice. Looks like it's in really good condition. Cool, cool, cool. It has like, um, yeah, like a floral and the beads are textured. So it's nice. Okay, look at this hunk of, hunk of piece here. Um, yeah, this is uh, interesting. Hmm, okay, it's got a maker's mark. Our maker's tag, express. Cool, cool, cool. It's either a choker sort of necklace I'm assuming that's that's the case, because I mean, look, you know, it's just too big for your bracelet, so. It's a necklace, choker style with some dangly bits. Groovy. Okay, we have this guy. Um, It's coming off like it's worn. So it might just be a worn piece. It still looks like it's got a lot of life left in it. It's textured. I like the way it sounds. All right. Next up, really soft pearls. These are so soft. These are beads. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. But I think that these are beads. But they're so soft. You gotta enjoy the softness. Yeah, I think they're right, so you could tell like. Sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background, guys. <laughs> it's, uh should be her nap time, but <laughs> she takes a second to wind down. We have this piece. Looks like a layered piece. But you know, it's funny, us being moms, is I miss her terribly when she's not in the room, but I very much enjoy when she sleeps. But I miss her quite terribly when she does. I always end up going back and looking at videos of her when she's sleeping. Isn't that funny? So I don't know what this is. This is, uh, <laughs> this is an interesting piece to me. This is a lobster claw clasp right here. This might just be broken, <laughs> but I'm just, uh, I don't know. So you have this here and then this, the extender here. So this might just be like a layered piece or you might wear it as a dangle and go down to your boobies. Who knows? Right in between there. Uh, the possibilities are endless folks. So I'll look at that a little later. <laughs> okay. So we have this stretch piece. That's a little heart dangle. And then little dangle dangle. It's nice. Wowzers. This is, uh, looks like a pendant. But it looks like it's, sorry for the wiggle on the camera, guys. Wow, look at the sparkle. Right, 
don't <laughs> I gotta whisper when I see things so sparkly. <laughs> I'm a dork. If you can't laugh at yourself, who are you gonna laugh at? This looks like a, it's like wooden or plastic beaded. I kind of got something similar a little while ago, like an artisan sort of piece. It's nice. Black texture. Exciting. We have this guy. Interesting. Little clasp on this one, huh? These are beads, too. Interesting. And guys, as always, I just want to thank you for your patience as I do record on my phone. So I am working on angles, camera angles, things along those lines. So every little bit of uh, tips you give me, I try to master in the next video that I shoot for you guys. So keep the comments coming. Looks like we have... Oh, these sound like glass. You like a faux mother of pearl. They sound like glass. But it's on a cord, pink cord. And it does look like it has um, lobster claw glass with an extender. So maybe like an artisan piece or something. Or maybe mother of pearl comes in other colors other than white. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't personally know. Uh, maybe you can give me some insight in the comments down below. Okay, cool. So we have another pearlish costume piece with a nice long extender. We're getting to the end, guys. Just gonna pour it all out. Stick it right here. Got the empty box. All right. Got some a casualty. Cute little fish brooch. Does look like it's. No, it doesn't have anything on there, but that's cute. That's nice. Little piece. I really hope you can't hear that fly. <laughs> okay. So, this is a toggle bracelet. It's interesting. Hey guys, you can see me. Um. Yeah, with a heart. Look at that. Okay, we have two gold tone. I wonder if it has. Nope. Earrings. Oh, rhinestone. Stretchy bracelet. Some more clip ons. Oh, this one's missing. That's where this guy comes from. Chirp, 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 chirp. Whoop, run away. Set that aside to fix. The ball doesn't want to leave me alone. We have these guys. It's interesting. Looks like they're clipped together in a sort of fashion. This is pretty boho in my opinion. Feels wooden with the... Uh, Looks like a floral bead. Cool, cool. We have the other to this Mardi Gras-ish looking earring set to me. Then it looks like we have a gold tone with gold tone with enamel. Like a purple or maroon color, maybe brownish. All those colors. With a fold over. Oh, it has some kind of something on it. Avon. It's got some love on it. You could see the wear. Someone loved this. And the last piece, guys, we have a gold tone made in China bracelet. How about that? Very pretty. Uh, very pretty cold. Like it's never been worn, so the fold over. If I can get it open. There we go. Cool. Well, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Any piece that... This piece right here. Probably the most nuts that I found in this whole thing. And I can't wait to do a little bit more research on it. But uh, 
If you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel would be most appreciated. Uh, any kind of tips or anything you want to, or just want to talk to us, we'd love to talk to you guys in the comments down below. So let us know what you think, uh, what your favorite thing was in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.